So then Jesus goes directly from the wetness of the, ow, <laughs> directly from the wetness of the Jordan, from the water, out into the dryness of the desert, the hostility of the desert, the, the loneliness of the desert, the unbearable heat of the desert. He's there for 40 days. During those 40 days, he doesn't eat. But he's not really alone in the desert. The devil is there with him. The devil is there to, to lure him, to tempt him, to try to distract him. So at the end of those 40 days, Jesus is hungry, and then the devil said to Jesus, Ah, son of God, are we? Let's see about that. Why don't you use some of those superpowers? Why don't you use some of those creator powers? Why don't you use your voice? Hey, there's a stone. All you have to do is use your voice, Mr. Son of God, and change the stone into a loaf of bread. Go ahead. Come on. Jesus. It was written a long time ago. We don't live by bread alone. And then the devil led him to a high place. I mean, a really high place. A place so high in an instant. They could see all the kingdoms of the earth, from the Roman Empire in Italy, to Athens, to Alexandria in Egypt to the great empires of Africa, to Teotihuacan in central Mexico, to the Mayan Empire in the Yucatan, to the Pakore people in India, to the Han Dynasty in China. I mean, in an instant, they're seeing the whole globe, all the peoples. The devil says to him, all of this is mine. All of the glory, all of the authority belongs to me. It's been given to me, and I will give it to you. If, I mean, it's a small thing, but if you will simply bow down and worship me. Jesus said, it is written, you shall worship only the Lord your God, and he's the only one you should serve. And that the devil led him to Jerusalem, to the holy city. He took him to the temple, the one that had been built by Solomon and then rebuilt by King Herod. He took him way up high to the very highest part of the temple. And then the devil said to him, Son of God, are we? Then throw yourself off. Jump, jump! After all, it is written, he'll give his angels charge over you. They'll catch you in their hands. They won't let your foot strike the stones. Jump! Jesus said, ah, it's also written, don't put the Lord your God to the test. When he heard that, the devil slunk off. He slithered away to wait for a more opportune time. And that's one small part of God's big story.